Yo, what's up with it? It's your boy, Noonie. It's Leo in the third house, and we back with another reading. Yo, what's up with it? This your boy, Noonie, and it's Leo in the third house, back with another reading. This is going to be another pick a card reading. We're going to be asking the question, what messages do we have or what advice do we have from our spirit gods? So, I um, just want to kind of see what's going on with that. That was a message that I had for a while. It had been sitting on me for a while to do one of these. I haven't done one in a long time. Hey, yo, so when I be doing these, right, I go back and I watch them and I be like, yo, I needed to hear that. And so, you know, I just wanted to do it again so that way, you know, you guys could hear sometimes some of the messages that we miss. These are one of those things that are important for soul growth. So that's why I wanted to do this one. So anyway, I got four piles, as always. Uh, thanks to those people who be liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, getting involved. Thanks to those people who donate as well. Um, those personal readings, I'm about to get to them right after this. So, you'll be getting those probably in the morning. Um, that's about it. Anyway, four piles. Pile one. Pile two. Pile three. Pile four. I'm going to get started over here with pile one. Boom, pile one. So, pile one. What messages do we have from our spirit guides? Okay. First card out was uh, Midhaven, Pentacle. And so this is about being seen. All right, so here you're being seen. Something is, okay, so I'm feeling like something's going to be reaching the top soon. So something's going to be um, not illuminated, but it's going to be made known because Pentacle is, uh, in the birth chart, represents um, kind of like how your family taught you. You know how you were taught at a younger age how to put yourself out there like how to get yourself recognized or get recognition and so this is what this is so it has you having to soften your anger and like learning to be more tender more gentle all right so you have this um oh, okay so you all right so you're being implored to be more sharing more giving all right this is how you're going to elevate yourself this is how you're going to be like um get recognition public recognition in a sense this is how people are going to um, take notice of you by softening like being slow to anger um, recognizing conflict allowing things that have already happened in the past to like let them go like let bygones be bygones um, just being more tender more giving you know because you have a buffalo spirit here which is uh, in reverse and so that's that energy of uh, recognizing that your needs will be met you know and that um, there's always better opportunities coming along and sometimes that's probably why you hold on to guilt out of that feel or that, that feeling of resentment out of a feeling of maybe being robbed of an opportunity for maybe a complete happiness be it, be it as a job be it as a relationship you know be it as a friendship or any type of opportunity that you thought you should have had it'll come again all right so what you're having coming up in the near future is this visionary energy all right, it's like um, this is energy that you've been storing for a while. So you already have maybe a creative idea, a creative talent that's going to be amplified. You're going to be recognizing that you have gifts, you know, or, you know, because you got exchanging gifts here. So you may be sharing information with other people and recognizing that, oh, snap, I have a certain ability here that I didn't recognize that I had. Because what's going to be boosting this, this uh, mid haven or this pinnacle period in your life is going to be your creativity. That's what's going to be highlighted at this time. And so you may be having an internal conflict right now, um, kind of like re reliving the same circle, the same loop, like having yourself on like auto. I feel like uh, autopilot because I got the world here in reverse, which could be about like autopilot, redoing relationships again, um, redoing uh, old passions, old like old skills that you've had, life skills. It's kind of like redoing those things again, you know, and kind of like not being able to separate yourself from those. 
because you have the devil here in reverse and that's where you're like so even though it's a detached energy of releasing things that are no longer good for you it's still that longing for having them you know because there's nothing to replace it quite yet and so that's where there there's this energy of uh needing to be a bit more tender and more giving like more fair because exchanging gifts upright is about finding people who share the same values and who are open to sharing with you so it's like share and share alike and in order for you to be able to do this you have to soften yourself and allow yourself to be more gentle see i got heart i got the heart uh chakra down here and i have the solar plexus down here and i have the uh the third eye chakra right so this represents the energy of being very clear with your intentions clear of your perception of the world around you and clear of the perception of who you are also this is where energy comes in at within your third eye you know you, you basically pick up um this is where your feelings start at the initiate here with how you basically kind of perceive the situation that's where the feelings growing attach themselves to so how you see the situation is what's actually causing it to develop in the way that it's developing so this is going to be activating the way that you see yourself in the world and the way that you see the world at large all right now we have heart chakra here as well and so this is going to be an expansion this has to do whenever i have solar plexus and uh, heart chakra here i already know that there's transformation that's going on because those two chakras are important for you know transformation now the reason that they're important is because the heart chakra comes in as a form of uh, allowing acceptance and allowing you to process grief pain guilt shame that heart chakra opens up and allows you to release those you know or to you know just be accepting of what has happened you know because the second card that came out was softening to love so that's why the heart chakra is being activated here all right and then we next we have your solar plexus and so the solar plexus is going to be representing that uh, authenticity that energy of change that energy of putting yourself first of choosing yourself first and of putting yourself out in the light in like in a self-belief right you know what i mean this is evolution it says evolution here too so you're going to be evolving this is causing you to grow this is for the soul's growth all right this is causing you to grow you may still been holding on to negative patterns and negative habits and here you're going to be making an emotional choice all right because it says uh the leaves and this is usually um like an ending of a cycle an ending of a period all right so you're coming up on the end of a period and this is going to bring you into a more creative time and um a more balanced time you know because exchanging gifts also kind of gives me that energy of 50 50 which is kind of like libra plus we have balance right here as your ending your ending advice right volcano so let me let me give you some of the signs because i didn't even say what signs you could be you could be a capricorn you could be a leo you could be a gemini oh, i said gemini but i didn't mean it but you could be a cancer and you could be an aries but i said gemini so it must be a gemini oh you could be a taurus could be a scorpio could be an aquarius all right, so I have those signs here. So you could be any of those signs, or you could just be acting in the capacity of it. But basically, what's coming up for you next is the energy of this, uh, like, a feeling maybe like you're about to burst. You've been holding in a lot of energy, a lot of maybe frustration, a lot of resentment. Um, but it's also like holding in a lot of creative force, a lot of creative power. All right, because this is Aries energy. So this is like having a lot of strength, having a lot of uh, really uh, inner like inner flame and so with the five of wands in reverse this is an energy of not knowing how to creatively express what you're feeling this is inner turmoil you know five of wands sometimes can be about um uh litigation and stuff like that or like you know competing with others and rivalry and all but in reverse it's usually about inner turmoil and not feeling good enough to compete or not feeling good enough to uh you know basically compete for the things you desire because the five of wands can represent uh people competing for the things that we all desire you know money wealth love you know, these things are things that we all compete for, you know, whether it's subconsciously or uh, consciously, you know what I mean? So this is that, that energy of recognizing that you have gifts, you have abilities, you know, and that you can share this and that by being more gentler, more open hearted, more forgiving, more loving at this time. This is going to boost your level of creativity because you're going through a period now where you're having issues of um, basically like expressing expressing your emotions in a creative way and of letting go of like the patterns and, and like the obsessive behavior and the, the jealousy. And, you know, sometimes we don't always consider it as jealous. We don't notice it. We don't really look at it as jealousy. Sometimes we just think of, you know, they didn't do the work that they should have been doing to get that. And sometimes that just equates to feeling like, you know, they didn't deserve it, you know, and that would, that would be like, you know, kind of eliminating the purpose of, 
uh, seeing others do well. Not that that, I mean, it's just, I don't know, for some reason I felt like I needed to say that because a lot of times uh, we don't see it as jealousy. We just kind of see it as like stating a fact. And so maybe there's that energy of um, maybe undervaluing yourself or feeling like you don't have as many opportunities as other people. But what it's saying is that you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of creative gifts, a lot of creative talents, and you're going to soon recognize that you have that ability and that you can release these old. See, sometimes it's like a poverty mindset. When I think of devil, I always think of like, um, you know, that energy of survival. Like I need to, you know, protect myself. I need to, you know, just, you know, be aware of what's going on. Because this is about materialism as well. Devil, devil represents anything in the physical realm that could uh, keep you bound to it in an obsessive, compulsive type of way. You know, and so, in reverse, it's like letting go of that energy, but you're needing to replace it with something. And so the choice here is about expanding yourself and allowing people to give to you. Allowing love to come in by forgiving those past hurts of situations and people that didn't plan out the way that you want it. And this is soften you and tender you and allow you to see how abundant the universe truly is for you. This is actually going to elevate you because your first card that came out is Pinnacle and it's your Midhaven. All right. And this is about, you know, that that period of your chart that actually stands out. This is how you're able to be seen in the world. And this is going to allow you to be seen in the world because this represents, like I said, visionary energy. All right. So that's what's going to be coming for you. This visionary energy and this extreme feeling of of um, it's like an energy, like a burst, a burst of energy. And you're going to recognize like, hey, I'm very creative. I have a lot of talents. I have a lot of gifts. You know, and then you're going to be sharing them with other people. But it's coming after you process these feelings and these emotions and let go of that grief, that shame, that resentment. All right. So your advice says balance. Difference is a necessary part of human evolution. And everything in life is comprised of opposites, which together make life whole. If you light a candle in a room already flooded with light, the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists. Because of darkness, we are able to perceive both light and dark. Both are necessary. And then at the bottom we have creativity. It says, we, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. So, power one, that's what I got. This your boy Nuni, and this is the third house. Boom, power two. So, power two. What messages do you have from your spirit guide? Mm. Oh, okay. All right, because at first it was kind of confusing, but I could see where it's going. It makes sense here because this is about changing your beliefs, changing your, your patterns. You know, this is also about, um, we'll get there because it could be something else too, because you could be getting, um, this, no, this is definitely going to be about changing uh, beliefs, all right? Changing patterns, changing familiar patterns, ancestral patterns. Because the first card out we have is South Node, all right? And this is having to do with your past, but this is also about specific gifts that you brought with you. Um, talents or just kind of like behaviors traits that you might have brought from a past life or just from a you know your younger your younger life where you know you didn't quite um, resolve some of the inner issues or you didn't quite uh, get rid of them they were good for a period of time that you had them you know but they may not be the best for you right now and so you're being taxed right now with being redevoted to yourself all right so it says soul gifts and training and it's time to step up so you're you're being required or tasked with uh, finding your your fire, finding your inner devotion, finding your inner your inner basically your inner fire, your inner light, whatever's going to get you going. You know what I mean? I couldn't think of the word, but it was like this need, a desire. You need to to step up, all right? Because you have gifts, and this is about you training. So you're going through obstacles that's going to be coming up, but you're going to be having Rhino Spirit with you, which is about 
um, persevering through obstacles that seem them or seem like they could um, stop you from getting going. All right. And then you have a uh, porcupine spirit in reverse, which is time for a beginner mind. But this is in reverse. All right. So this is about um, I'm feeling more so because I don't, I don't really know that card that well. So I'm feeling more so here. This is about uh, kind of like getting rid of what you think you know about the obstacles getting rid of what you think you already know about the situation. And then we have fork in a row, which could be about making a decision or it could be about recognizing the other opportunities that you have in front of you. You know, it could be an expansive feeling, you know, because we have self-criticism and guilt here, which I know are limiting beliefs. And that usually makes you feel um, sometimes lost and confused, not quite sure where you want to go. And so with beginner mind in reverse, that's that energy of feeling like you already know it all. You could be a Virgo. You could be a Leo. Um, yeah, because I got both those signs, Virgo and Leo. <laughs> that's funny because I didn't even peep that. But look, look, <laughs> that's definitely that's definitely a Leo and a Virgo trait. All right. You could have these in your chart or, you know, this could be just your sun sign or whatever. But um, what I'm getting here is just that energy of uh, being able to overcome an obstacle, right? This is training you. So here you're being asked with, all right, so what do you really desire? Because that's what hearth can also mean with Vesta. Vesta is usually about your deepest desire. You know, what is it that you're really truly devoted to? So that's what I'm feeling like, all right? This is you in your comfort zone. And is this what you really want to devote yourself to? Because this lesson, or this situation that you may be going through is just training you, all right? It's training you to overcome obstacles that would be similar to this. And it's breaking you out of this energy of feeling like, excuse me, of feeling like you've already experienced every dynamic that there is or that you've already traveled every road that's been traveled. Because that now is making sense because the beginner of mine would mean like I'm curious and it's right next to fork in the road. It would give me an energy of not being curious about where you could be going. Like, you know, feeling like you've already uh, seen all that there is to see, like you've already traveled. And at this point, you don't really feel like going anywhere. You're at a crossroad, but you don't want to make a decision. All right. And so the next card up is what I'm feeling here is more about um, being generous of spirit because we have uh, Leo energy here, Isis which is about protecting those you love, being generous with those you love, being honorable and being uh, genuine, you know, with those people that you love, you know, protecting them. Because you have five of swords and this is that energy of finding a peaceful resolution to a possible disappointment that you guys might have shared that may have ended a family dynamic or that may have ended possibly uh, something that was stable, something that you might have built for a long time, which could be like a friendship, could be a job, could be a business. But this is feeling about, uh, showing, needing to show other people uh, how it's in their best interest to help, you know, like showing showing others where where they can help, where they can be helpful, you know, what I mean, showing them where they, where their where their their guilt, where their skills and their talents are best needed, and that's what this situation is teaching you. It's teaching you to get out of like your comfort zone, those gifts that you had once before. You're gonna need to sharpen them pretty much because this hearth here is about sharp. It's almost like sharpening that energy up because you have soul gifts and training. So th this situation is sharpening you up to be able to overcome any obstacle that is similar, all right? Now, you may have felt like you've already seen all the variables that there are to see in this type of situation, but what it's saying is that you haven't. There's a little bit more craftiness that's going on, and you may get what you want, but it may be after uh, people have taken advantage of you, or it may be at a cost of you having to sacrifice or give a little bit more than what you want. You know, and that might be what it's about. This is probably because you're in a comfort zone. And so this is probably you probably don't want to. That's that's the energy. You probably don't want to do what's being required. All right. In order to get what it is that you're desiring. All right. And so there may be a bit of trickery in order. You may try to trick or they may try to trick you into being in the dynamic that they want to. But it's in the form of trying to, to you know, not cause a heartbreak or a disappointment. All right. Like they don't want an ending, you know, because there's this energy of wondering, like, why are we here? They need the approval. So someone here needs their approval and they're dealing with a lot of self-criticism. All right. Because that's really what it is. Like they don't want to fight. They don't want to battle. All right. Because they don't want disappointment either. They just kind of like want to end this like this, uh, like. The pattern that you guys have been repeating, you know, because I'm looking at this Ten of Coins is more like a pattern, repeated family pattern, you know, something that you both maybe share from ancestral time, you know, what I mean, passed on from your parents, passed on from your grandparents. It's like you guys are 
kind of like at war with each other because it's just changed for a second. You know, it's like you got gifts and that's what's being trained here. You know, and I'm, I'm assuming this would be more so about your desires, like how to sharpen going after your desires, you know, because you're going to have to learn to overcome obstacles and to learn to overcome difficulties to be able to do this. And you have to have a beginner's mind. In reverse, this is that energy of feeling as if you already know things already. So you, this could be also, this also could be that energy of you knowing, um, of being more self-assured, you know, and letting go of that feeling of, uh, of, you know, like knowing that you've seen it all when you haven't, but just being open to exploring. You know what I mean? Because that's just the kind of the energy here. It's like, I already kind of seen it all. I've already been through it all. And I'm not fitting to put myself out there in, in any other way. But the advice you're getting here is bliss. So this is about like childish energy. This is sacral chakra too. This is about, uh, this is partially about uh, processing change as well. All right. This is like on the way to um, learning to ask for your needs, you know, to get your needs met. But here you get into creative ways of expressing yourself creative ways of seeing yourself as well, you know, and of getting comfortable within your own inner body. And so this could be that part here, you know, recognizing your, it's not really about recognizing your self-worth, but it is slightly about recognizing your self-worth. It's recognizing your talents that you have here, you know, what your abilities are, your natural abilities. So whatever you're going through at this current moment, this is getting you out of that comfort zone of the old gifts you had and it's giving you a brand new desire or a brand new fire is being lit under you to show you the new gifts and the new stool, I mean the new the new styles that you pretty much are coming into. And these are gonna teach you to overcome harder and bigger obstacles than what you've experienced already. Because porcupine, you know, spirit can also represent um, you know, not having seen this before, you know, but but kind of putting on the facade as if you had. You know, and that's how I would feel about it as well, because because with this fork in the road, it's just that energy of thinking that you've seen it already, you know. But anyway, your advice is self-criticism. We, your angels, ask you to please be more compassionate towards yourself. Observe the times when you have critical thoughts about you and make an effort to replace these negative thoughts with positive, loving ones. You are a wondrous being of light, even if at times you think you are less than perfect. Remember that God and perfection, divine perfection, exist in all things. And then you have guilt. It says you do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do, from your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong, all right? And it says you'll have the motivation to express your light. And this is about expressing your feelings, expressing your thoughts, expressing who you genuinely are. So I'm feeling like this is breaking you out of possibly out of this energy of uh, doubting, you know what I mean? And, you know, being afraid because, you know, five of, five of swords can also be about walking away as well. Walking away from the past heartbreak because it's connected to the three of swords. So you could be walking. She, you know, someone could be walking. I said she. So it could be a she or a he. Could be walking away from uh, past heartbreaks. And that's keeping them from... Um, it could be you. That's walking away from past heartbreaks. And this is keeping you from being uh, open and loving and genuine. You know, and maybe a bit self-critical and guilty of yourself. You know, or, or like, you know, maybe the past mistakes that you've already made. You know, and that might be keeping you from being more explorative, you know, and, and actually being more driven towards expressing who you genuinely are. So that might be what's going to be uh, illuminated in the next few weeks. That's what I'm feeling. So if that resonated with you, give me a like, because I was struggling with that for a second. But anyway, thanks for watching. This is your boy, Nooney, and it's Leo at their house. Boom, pile three. So, pile three. What messages from your spirit guides? Okay. Yep, what's good? I'm back. So anyway, camera died last night, and it was kind of late. I didn't feel like, you know, redoing it or hashing it out, trying to figure it out. 
Yo, how y'all feel about this? This natural light, though. Anyway, let me just go ahead and uh, get going. So, pile three with that interruption. That might be something that might be going on with you. Things might look like they're going a certain way in there. You know, but anyway, first card out is North Node. And then we have questioning the veil. Everything on a line must go. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right. Okay. I see what's going on here. So North Node first card out. All right automatically that's like getting outside your comfort zone but it's not that same deck you know what i mean it's a different different deck but i know that's what the north node represents it represents a, a part of your path that you haven't been to it's like um that yearning that you have to experience something like your soul knows where to go it's, it's that that knowing that's like an inner knowing almost it's like uh maybe like an automatic gps that turns on and now you're, you know that it's time to get outside of what you've always known. And so with lifting the veil and perspective right next to this and be fearless and bold, it lets me know this is about uh, you striking out and like pretty much um, having faith in yourself, trusting in yourself. And with, you know, I know honey badger spirit, you know, that, that saying honey badger don't take no shit. I think about it that way because um, this is about like defending your, your territory, you know, and kind of even being a bit... Um, dominant you know very like assertive you know where people will respect who you've become because north node is like you moving in that direction you know and sometimes old friends old family members um, or just people who you were once like closely associated with they may like fall to the wayside this can also mean like um, it's like new new skills you know you're learning like new habits and then with lifting the veil question everything right next to it is about questioning you know it, like your beliefs questioning the things that you've seen or consider as reality you know and then you have zooming out uh none of this matters so this is like seeing this from a higher perspective this is what, what you're needing to do and be bold and fearless you know because you have poise energy here which is um so in, with this deck <clears throat> with this deck it's always about when it's in reverse it just means that spirit's involved so with poise, you may not be feeling like you're quite ready to take this new leap or new, uh, this new journey, you know, and you may not feel like, because that's right next to competitiveness, which is about like defending the things that you want or, you know, uh, being assertive and aggressive for the things that you want. Hmm. But it says to relax. So you might be in an energy of not being able to trust people or just not knowing exactly where to start. You know what I mean? Like maybe you want to network, maybe you want to get things started. Because what I'm looking at is you have a lot of creative ideas, like because you have like made room for it. But what it's saying is make room for partnerships because you have the two of cups in reverse. So, or maybe it's making room for getting rid of, of past partnerships or getting rid of unequal partnerships because concession can also mean making room for the new. And you have the two of cups here. So, you have the Empress energy upright, but we have Temperance and the King of Pentacles in reverse. And so here, I feel like you're not being practical about how you're trying to birth new ideas or how you're trying to birth new opportunities. Because concession can mean allowing yourself to be open to new opportunities, new ideas. It's usually in the air, it's in the air aspect, so this has to do more so like thoughts, creative ventures. So maybe you're not being practical about your creative ideas or your creative abilities, you know, because the inference can represent, you know, um, fertility. And so in that case, I would just kind of see this as fertility because North Node, and um, even here, I'm seeing um, heart, heart Chakra and the Third Eye. And this is about being able to see things clearly and processing past grief, past hurt. It's also about, you know, processing new change that is coming in and, um, allowing like allowing acceptance you know what i mean this makes it lighter for you makes it easier for you to flow through and so currently you'd be in the energy of this king of pentacles in reverse which is a uh, unstable 
not really putting in enough effort as well because the King of Pentacles represents a guy who's uh, built stability. He's, he's built success from hard work. And so um, in reverse, he'd be the guy who hasn't put the effort or put the real work into it. And that would be just a person who's not very practical about what they're envisioning or not very practical or having a plan. This could be, oh, oh dang, I didn't even give you all the signs. <laughs> but anyway, I'll get to that in a second. So this could be, um, you know, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn male, you know, or, or you know, female, because it's just masculine energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a male. You know, so this could just be you in that energy of not really uh, using your masculine energy of getting things done, having a practical plan, you know, and really putting the, the hard work or diligence into it. You know, and that's it's like a fear here. And that's why I'm saying be bold, be bold and take that move. Look at look at what you're where you're at right now, because in, in the uh, reverse as well, this could be about focusing on materials. You know, you could be just mainly focusing on materials and. That has to do with your creative process. Maybe that's what's hindering you. Maybe you're you're envisioning being too big or or putting the cart before the horse. You know, kind of like already seeing your seeing your money before you've already done the work. You know, or or because because this is like it's like or and even if it's not necessarily money, it's like seeing results before you've already done the work. Like you want to see the abundance and you want to see the the enrichment and see the see like the bounty of it before you've even made any efforts and it's it's imploring you to make a leap to go fearlessly after after this this journey pretty much because it's just saying that you've made some mistakes because you have to fall here so you might have made some mistakes you know and and there's still time that you can fix them you know what i mean but you're you're like teetering on the edge of of making a brilliant discovery or of making a foolish mistake <clears throat> now i was just saying Making room for more healthy relationships is going to be paramount to this because this is your north node as well. And so you might have been in the energy, like I said, of not trusting people because that shows up here and, and or, or not feeling like you're enough because you have competitiveness here as well. So what it, what's going on here is, is like your heart and your, and your mind are aligned with this tempers in reverse. You could be feeling a bit impatient, you know, for like results, you know. Because the, the temperance in reverse is right next to the emperor, I mean, to the empress, which is about, you know, abundance and fertility, things coming in, like, you know, just having it, being comfortable, a, a, a comfortable state in life, you know, feeling abundant and flourishing within yourself. This is also feeling like sensual because it's ruled by Taurus and Libra. Then we have Sagittarius energy here as well. So you could be you know, one of those two signs or a Leo or a Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn. Those are signs that I got. So you could be any of these signs, but um, you're being implored to actually take a leap, be fearless, be bold, trust in yourself and look at this situation from a higher perspective. Look at it from, um, look at it as if what's going on so far doesn't matter or is, hasn't produced the results of what you're looking for. So you may need to strike out because when I see fall as well, anytime I see people walking towards the edge and there's no other cards there, I, I imagine that as being you walking into the unknown. And so that's that's the energy here. And it has expansion. We have comfort right next to a north node and we have motivation. All right. So that's what that's what's being, being needed right now. These are your advices and these are what's being activated. Your third eye and your heart chakra. All right, so you're learning to love yourself and you're learning to take action. This is what this is be teaching you. You're learning to take action. You're learning to trust your heart, all right, because you might be overthinking, you know, or listening to the opinion of others because fall can represent listening to the opinion of others when it comes to competitiveness or going after the things that you really want. You know, you might have been dealing because North Node can also mean that you were, you were, you're leaving from the comfortability of the things that you've always known because that's why it's called stepping out of your comfort zone. So you're leaving from the comfortability of the things that you've always known. And so here it's like, you know, you may not be quite sure where to start or you may not be feeling like you're enough or you may feel like you can't trust people. You know, and so it's encouraging you to be more open, to be more accepting, you know, and to process those past issues that may have happened before because you could be focusing more on material and not really putting the best efforts or putting your best qualities um, 
you know, your best quality work out. And, and this could be in terms of like uh, relationships where you may not be adding as much uh, value as you may think you are, you know, where maybe you just throw a couple of dollars at things or maybe you just, I don't know, maybe cook a meal. Or, well, I don't know, maybe you just don't connect in the way that, that you really could connect with people. You know, and you may just kind of be focused on the mundane aspects of not the, yeah, the, no, not the mundane, but the, um, the superficial aspects of things, you know, and, and that might be what's going on where, you know, you really, you rather have, let's say if you're trying to start a business, you might be worried more about this business being on a fortune 500 than actually doing the finer details, you know, of, uh, you know, scout, not scouting, but, you know, researching and understanding your area and, you know, maybe not cold calling, but, you know. You know what I mean? There's like, there's just different aspects to it that maybe you're not paying attention to the finer details of or not really putting your best efforts to, you know, and that's just the same because your heart and your mind aren't aligned. You know, you may need to take some time out to balance those out and come within harmony within yourself, you know, because you're kind of like wanting to see the finished product before it's even gotten there. Now, it's also saying uh, make room for new, new relationships because I got the two of cups. Because there's a, there's a disbalance, there's an inharmony, I mean, a disharmony there as well in your relationships. And that just means that, that people aren't equally giving to each other. So that might have been something that you might have done in your in your past or been, like, used to. So you're getting out of that comfort. And that's why I'm saying be bold and fearless and question everything. Everything that isn't aligned with where you're going or what you're intending to do must go. All right? So it's saying that you are enough and it's that you will find clarity and the ability to create right now. And so this is your time to make things happen. And with poise and reversed, even if you're not really quite ready, you're ready. Spirit is basically pushing you to be ready. You know, you may be missing opportunities from being afraid or thinking that you don't have what it takes to, you know, to take that opportunity, but you do. You know, you just need to make room for more positive uh Reinforce, yeah, reinforcements, you know, more positive reinforcements, more positive um, relationships, you know, and learning to share equally. For some reason, that's just that just kind of came out to me. So you're needing to learn how to share equally as well. But be bold enough to put yourself out there, you know, and to actually do the work. So your, your final advice says, there's plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light, flowing from the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will be accomplished, you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. So that's your reading, Pile 3. Thanks for watching. This is your boy, Henny. I'm gonna stay over at their house. Boom, pile four. So, pile four. What advice do you have from your spirit guides? Okay. First card out is third card is uh communication, but it's the third house, you know. So you could be a Gemini, um, you could be a Cancer, you could be a Libra, could be a Taurus. From what I'm getting, you could be what what we call an empath, right? Where you might take on other people's burdens, take on other people's uh, emotions and feelings, and. Here, so third house is about 
community, not communicate, it's about communication, but it's also about uh, your neighborhood or like your sibling-like relationships, relationships that really could be like close friends. Um, it's just that your local area, your local relationships, relationships that are like close to you regularly, right? And so with this inner child, and I'm looking at intelligence of the, of the universe lies within you and energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. And you, so you might have been keeping up with people from your childhood, keeping, keeping um, like vibes or emotions from the childhood that has you kind of stuck. Because you've been, I'm looking at like peace and manipulation. So someone in here is uh, taking advantage of you. Could be a cancer, could be someone with a authority, maybe a police officer. It's not police. It's someone of official, someone who's official, or someone who has maybe a state job, or it's something, some type of authority. All right, but this is a person who usually uh, comes off very nurturing, and allows like you know they kind of allow like stressful situations to run their course, right? But they're doing this in a form of manipulation. They're trying to manipulate your peace, your emotional peace. They're trying to break your foundation, all right? And you're needing to see through the illusion, of, see through this facade of what's going on here. They're trying to break your emotional foundation, all right? Because they know that you, you take on other people's stress and burdens. And so maybe they, they're here causing, a, they're causing strife and uh, they're trying to stop you tear you because we have the three of wands and we have the five of wands right next to the chariot which is about moving forward now this could be someone who's successful you know who in their own right has their has something going on or they may not feel as abundant as you because you have the empress in reverse this could be someone who doesn't feel as abundant as you they're not feeling um quite as attractive either and they're not feeling quite independent all right but this is someone who feels uh, a bit pessimistic and they're, they're almost spiteful, all right? Now, they're trying to stop you from moving forward. And it's all because they know that you have a kind and a, and a gentle heart. And you're needing to see the truth behind the illusion or the facade of this emotional manipulation and the games that they're playing. They're trying to jeopardize your peace and your foundation. All right, now, uh, this doesn't have to necessarily be a cop. It could just be someone who you see as a form of authority. You know, someone who you see is um, successful too, all right? So this might have been someone who you walked away from emotionally. You know, or you might have had a lot of start and stops with. But you have letting go, flow, and resilience. So this could have been a person who you who you like kind of like allow situations to just kind of like be swept under the rug as well because it's like two cancers next to each other so you guys might have been um what's the word you guys might have been enabling each other and that might be, be what you guys were sharing in there might be always competition or there might be always fighting it's an it's an enabling energy here and so what you're being tasked with right about now is, is understanding the bigger picture of it, like noticing your part in it, where you play, where you play in a part in it and noticing what parts are yours and what parts are not yours. So it says that, you, so you guys might've been struggling with control, either them or you. And it's, and you're wondering why things are such a struggle, why things aren't working. Cause that's what the five of wands and, and I mean, the five of wands upright is about for me. It's like, you know, defensive fence is fighting, it's competition, but it's sometimes it's like um, being at war, being at odds with each other, you know, in, in terms of relationship, we're bickering, you know, we're not quite uh, on the same page, you know, but it's still, because I'm, because like I said, it's these two cancer energies right next to each other, and they kind of like give off the same vibe, let me show you, it's a chariot and the hair, but they kind of give off like the same vibe of like regalness or of maybe wanting to be in charge, whereas one is more, um, one goes high and one kind of goes low. And that's just kind of the energy of what I'm feeling here. 
but your advice is going with the flow and letting go. So maybe you're feeling like there's a certain way that it has to be. Maybe you guys are sharing in that energy of feeling like it's a certain way it has to be because it says I need control here too. And why are things such a struggle? So this is really like a battle. And this could be with someone from your childhood or someone in like in your close knit circle because that's what your third house represents, like your neighborhood, people who you see regularly, not regularly, but you know, they're in your close proximity. You know, this could be like neighbors. This could be like, you know, cousins, family, like you know, people that you interact with on a normal basis. You know, and when I say normal, it's just, it doesn't have to be every day, but just normal enough that you know them and you guys have a, a rapport. And, and it's a person that you started, stopped with, you walked away with, restarted, stopped, you know, and that's that energy here. And so, a saying, learn to surrender and be free. Now, you could be free of the situation because it's connected to Hera. And Hera is about um, sometimes letting bad situations just kind of run their course. Let the situation just do what it do, you know, and let it be what it be. And sometimes you don't always have to overreact when situations are, you know, going awry. It's just that cancer energy is being nurturing, being loving, being motherly, you know, and then with the cherry energy is also about willpower and still just striving and pushing forward in order to get triumph, you know what I mean? And it takes a lot of might and a lot of strength. And so this is building you up. This is what this is all about. This is building you up, you know, because whenever you have strife and five, any anytime there's fives in a reading, I know that there's going to be growth in like emotional, physical, mental, or spiritual growth, you know, it's going to be um, some type of stress or tension that's going to appear in your life. And you're going to basically uh, have to do different behaviors in order to alleviate the stress that's being formed in your life. And so that's what fives come into, you know, because you always get something good after them, you know, you get that nostalgic or that, or that, that feeling, that good feeling of, of past times with the six of cups or you get charity with the six of pentacles or you move off to karma waters with the six of swords you know and with the uh, six of wands you know you get recognition for the hard work but after this five you get that recognition for all the you know all the battles and all the all the strife and beating out other competition and you know putting in your best efforts you get the victory for that you know for the battle that you went through and so when the five of wands shows up that you know that's like the next the next step given you follow the advice in here and so the advice is uh allowing yourself to let go of the burdens and allow the divine to free you so allow yourself to be cleansed of anything that's weighing you down yeah this is about not absorbing energy that's not yours like not not taking all other people's stuff that's not yours don't don't allow them to emotionally drain you or to emotionally uh like it's an emotional game they're manipulating your peace you know and so Kind of look past this, look through this and see what this is all about and don't take on what's not yours. That's really important here. Because you know, it's just teaching you resilience because they're, you know, they're causing strife, they're causing, causing, um, you know, they're causing like emotional turmoil, you know, because the, the wand's about like going after the things you desire. And when there's like, you know, when there's tension there, you're, you're having an inner turmoil about it, you know, and it's messing with your worldview because three of wands, is usually uh, upright is about looking out into the, you know, the future and being optimistic with what, what life holds. And in reverse, they're messing with that energy and having you feel as if there's no, there's no opportunities, things aren't, aren't gonna uh, pan out in my favor. And so that's what it's doing, it's just teaching you to go with the flow of things. You know, and hair is more about like going with the flow, just letting things run their course. You don't always have to give a reaction. You don't always have to be involved or, you know, attach yourself to a situation you can just kind of like look at it like a mother like hmm, it's okay and just let it be you know you don't have to always respond that's what i'm saying because that's all they're trying to do is just get you out of your peace all right so you may need to um alter the way you communicate because this is also about your communication so you may need to alter the way that you communicate that's going to be key here your communication style the way that you speak the way that you um, think and that's you know just communication is how you see yourself in the world based on close relationships how you see yourself in the close the close uh, close proximity relationships all right that's this way this might be what's changing when you realize what's really yours and what's really not someone else's and where they're being emotionally manipulative and trying to, to uh, break up your foundation all right so your last advice prayer. 
It says, Dear Guardian Angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Okay. So, part four. That was your reading. Thanks for watching. This your boy Nuni. And it's Leo in the third house.